All right, so in the previous video, we added cover photo feature to our posts. So when the user creates a post, they have the option to add a cover photo. Let's create a post here. So I'm going to say post one with some content and choose this green image and press create. Of course, we get our post. Now, the problem with the design we have right now is that if we delete a post or update it, we don't do anything with this photo. For instance, if we check our application right now under a storage app public post images we have this one image right but if we delete this post we still have that image so imagine we have a million posts and we don't delete the images and that would take up space in our storage so i'm going to delete this manually so let's create another post here and see how we can delete the image alongside with the post so let's just create that green one again and go to our post controller so the destroy method in our post controller is deleting that post and we just want to delete the post image if it exists before deleting the actual post. So I'm going to make a comment here and say delete post image if it exists. And we want to create an if statement and check if post image does exist, then delete it. And in order to delete a file, just like how we added it to our application, we can use the storage facade, then specify the desk. So we use the public and then chain the delete method, which would look for the path. The path to that image is coming from our post image. And that's all. So this would go inside public forward slash post images and then the name of that file. So let's test this out. Right now we have this green image right here, which belongs to this post. If I delete this one, that photo is gone too. So under post images, we only have the default image. So that was the first step, which was quite easy. The next one is regarding updating a post. So let's again create a post. This time I'm going to choose this cherry photo and press create. So when we go to update, first of all, we don't see that photo. So we want to show the current cover photo if it exists and also add the button to upload a new file. So let's go to our edit blade view and we want to add a few blocks of code under this post body. The first one is going to be the current cover photo if it exists. And I'm going to go to our post card component and then copy this block of code where we render the image then paste it down here get rid of this else block we don't need it and just go over it and see how it looks i think the width full is too much for this one i'm just gonna make it one fourth maybe and a bit more height i'm not really concerned about the styles i will fix them later but we want to show the image if it exists and if we go back there we go so we can see the image maybe we can add a label so copy one of these labels right above the image and just say current cover photo get rid of this for attribute we don't need that and then move this if block outside this div so i want the whole div be conditional okay so we have the current cover photo next we want to add the file upload input field and we can grab that from our dashboard view this block of code so in the previous video we did this so i'm going to paste that under the cover photo and we don't need to change anything here so this is our button now we need to actually do the functionality okay so let's go to our post controller again and the update method is handling that form request first we need to validate it so let's go up and grab the validation rule from our store method and just paste it underneath the body rule then we need to check if the image actually exists so let's go back up again and grab this part and paste it down here and go over it and see if everything is correct so first this path variable cannot be null anymore because the post might have an image already so we don't want to set it to null if the user doesn't update that so we can set it to the post image if it exists if it doesn't then it's null using this double question marks so we say the path is going to be post image if it exists otherwise it's going to be null then we want to go check if the request object actually has a file called image and then if that's true we want to delete the previous image so again we need to check if the post image exists then delete it so i'm going to grab this delete statement from destroy method and paste it up here that would delete the post image if it exists and then we go down and say okay set the path to the new uploaded file so if the user doesn't upload any new file this whole thing would not happen and the path is going to be either the current image 
or null, which would be default image for us. But if there is an image, we would first check if the post has a previous image, so it's not the default one, then we would delete it, and then we would upload the new one and update our database with the new path. Then we need to come down here and update the fields. So I'm going to go back to the store method and copy this array. Then in this update method, instead of fields, we want to pass down that array and we don't need to change anything. We can actually get rid of this field variable. And I think that should do it. Let's test this out. Right now, we have one image which belongs to this post. So let me go back to the dashboard. First, I want to delete it. It's gone. So is the image. Now I'm going to create another one, post two, select this heart image. All right. And let's go update it. So first I'm going to say post two update it and not touch the image press update we get the text updated and still have the same image and still one image in our application let's go back to the update again this time i want to say update it to and choose another image let's say this green one update and we get error the image field must be a file something i forgot to do in our edit template we need to add ink type to our form tag itself and that's why we are getting that error it doesn't recognize that is a file so we need to add the ink type attribute and set it to multi-part form data on the form tag itself in our edit blade template so let's do this again update it to i want to choose that green photo press update the post was updated we get the text as well as the photo and in our application the previous one is gone and now we have the new one so one more test we want to create a post with no image so we would get default image and we want to update this one now so first of all we don't see the current image because there is no current image then we want to update this post at first i'm going to choose no image so it is still going to be no first update we still have the default image and there is nothing added to our application now let's update it again let's say update it again and choose this cherry one again update we have the cherries and of course it is added to our application so that is done simply by adding few lines of code to our update and delete method and that's all about it so let's talk about emails now